Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 58 in chapter 16. Chapter 16 is about sound wave. This problem is, called, is in, about inter, interference, right? We can say we have two speakers and the distance D is given there and the, there is a source D at there, so the L is given, right? And also the frequency for this sound wave is also given. And it also tells us these two speakers are in phase. First part, we need to determine when this intensity maximum is recorded, how far must the microphone be moved to the right to find the first uh, intensity minimum. So there, first intensity minimum, what does that mean? It's called the destructive interference, right? And check our test book, we have this picture. It will tell us the wave A and B are in phase, and both of them reaches to the position D in these cases. And in which cases it is a destructive interfaces, AD equal to ED, so the difference BE just N times lambda over 2. In these cases, it's called destructive interference. Agree? Yes. So the we we need to find how fast it moves. So that means the intensity of medium is a destructive interface. So we make need to make sure B E is just equal to N times lambda divided by two. This is winner in our test book. Now look at this picture. The diff, this is called S1, this is S2. So make sure the difference S2 minus X x1 should be n times lambda divided by 2, agree? And then we take the minimum, so n take 1. So that means s2 minus s1 must equal to lambda divided by 2, because these two wave a and b are in same phase. Now next question, how you find s2? We look at this uh, triangle. So this side, so this side, let me make another picture, another corner. So this part is called D over 2, agree? D over 2. And this lens is called X. This lens L. So you can say for S2, X2 is a D over 2 plus X is this a side lens. So we write it there plus x squared there, then squared. This is called S2. Now similarly, we look at S1. So X1, we can say, is in this triangle. In, let me change another color. In this triangle. Agree, X1. And then we can say, for this, for this lens, this lens is a D over two minus X d over 2 minus x, and this lens l squared. So now we get x2, x1, right? Input it in, inside this function, x2, x1, and we get the function. Look at this one, and you can see inside this function, only unknown quantity is x. We can solve it, get the function for x, and input all the known quantities, lambda, d, l, and some we can get the final answer there. Now, next question, how you find lambda? Lambda, we can use V over F, right? V is a 3, 4, 3 meter per second divided by frequency is given there. So the first part is uh, solved. The second part asks you, suppose the speaker are reconnected so that the 494 sounds are exactly out of phase. Question, what it means out of the phase? Out of the face means the wavelength is lambda. Agree? The wavelength it moves whether it's leads or legs lambda, right? At what position as intensity intensity maximum or minimum? So when it is maximum, we, this part is called constructive. So that means the the distance should be n times lambda. When it is minimum, called destructive. The distance should be n times lambda divided by two. So first one, 
suppose this intensity is maximum, so we can we look at the constructive interference, right? Constructive interference, S2 minus S1, this time is not in phase, it is out of phase. See, out of phase brings the wavelength lambda, and it also equal to n times lambda, then we choose the fundamental one, n equal to one, so lambda, right? And also we still input x2, s1 inside, we find x equal to zero. The next part, what if the intensity is minimum? If, if it is minimum, it is called destructive. So we input n times lambda 2 inside there, and also these two exactly out of phase. Out of phase brings the wavelength lambda. And the most close one is 3 lambda over 2, right? And then we input x2, s1 inside, we get the same as the part A. Thank you.